What's up, everybody? I'm Mike. I'm Joshua. And we are the Discovery Duo. On this, our premiere episode of Discovery Duo, we are taking you along with us on a road trip. We are going to Western North Carolina, not only just to see the, the beautiful region that is Western North Carolina, but the special thing about this is it's during the 2017 solar eclipse. So we get to bring you guys along with us to see this beautiful region, as well as see a very cool solar eclipse. So come along with us. Come on. Come on. So we endured the long trip from St. Petersburg, Florida to Western North Carolina in Asheville to be exact. Once we got to the hotel room in Asheville, we, we got there a little bit late in the afternoon so we decided to just take it easy. We uh, ended up going to the pool, relaxing for a little while, checking out the, the hotel and seeing everything that was there. It wasn't until the next day that the eclipse was so we had some time to actually check everything out. We didn't really have any plans for Eclipse Day, so what we decided to do was actually just take ourselves a little bit to the west to see what we could find. A good location, whatever it was, we didn't really know. The problem with doing, with, with having plans for going on a, on a situation like this is we knew that there was going to be millions of people flocking to the region. Being that it's in the path of totality, it was very likely that wherever we ended up was going to be completely packed and we weren't, weren't going to be able to find any parking or be able to get in in any way like that. So we didn't really want to have too much as far as plans go that we, we would be disappointed with the situation that we got into. So we just got in the car and drove west and just hoped for the best. here at Headwaters Outfitters. Cool little shop. Classes and all kinds of stuff in there as well as a bunch of shopping and all sorts of cool little things. Unfortunately, when we were at the Outfitters place, uh, bad storms and rain decided to make its way towards us and ended up uh, creating a situation where we didn't find it to be very desirable for uh, viewing the eclipse. So what we decided to do was pack up everything, and this was only, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes before the actual eclipse was going to happen. I mean, it just kind of got dark and everything was nasty and we were like, yeah, no, I think we're just going to go ahead and take it somewhere else, you know, because I want to see this thing. We drove all the way out here in North Carolina to see this thing and we can't even see it. So we decided to pack up everything, all butt over to the east a little bit, and we ended up finding this cool little location. Here we are at the eclipse that's behind me. And it is like rapidly getting dark out here. This is so cool. Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. This is so wild. It's 2.37 in the afternoon. It is nighttime out here. It's so crazy because in the horizon, I think that's what's even keeping things somewhat bright. <laughs> Super wild. Crazy. Wow. Give me a kiss. 
Give me a lean. Oh, clips. <laughs> clips love. <laughs> <laughs> It's so wild. That when it like starts to fade out, it goes quick. Yeah, you know? it's weird. It's, wild. it's getting brighter. <laughs> Fast. Wow. That is so cool. Sonny, turn the lights on. You turn the lights on. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? What happened? What happened? Rapidly getting f bright again. That is so crazy. Oh, you can see the sliver up there. So the eclipse was quite an experience. We had a lot of fun with it, and it was one of those things where you don't really know what to expect other than the fact that it's going to get dark. And it did. It got really dark really fast, and to me personally, it was kind of an emotional, emotional situation. It almost felt like, I don't know, like something was looking down on us and just saying, let's change the world. <laughs> That's the way I felt about it. So before heading back to the hotel, what we decided to do was actually take a little bit of a deviation. We decided to go to a little bit of a... We, we decided to actually surprise Joshua. I wanted to surprise him with a location that he hadn't heard of or anything like that, other than through some videos that I've shown him in the past. What this place was, it's called Sliding Rock. Sliding Rock was really cool. I loved it, and he, so did he. How'd you like it? Great. <laughs> that was awesome. Cold. Yeah. <sighs> After Sliding Rock, we went to a beautiful location, a beautiful waterfall known as Looking Glass, which was also on the pathway to get to Sliding Rock, so we decided to stop by there as well. Check this out. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.
So after Looking Glass, we ended up taking ourselves back to the hotel. So by that time, traffic had thinned out a little bit so that we were able to actually drive home and not sit in traffic the whole time. On our final day in North Carolina, we decided to check out Cherokee. And then from Cherokee, we went on the Blue Ridge Parkway, all offering some very beautiful views for us along the way. And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go And before we made it back to the hotel room, we also decided to check out Biltmore, which happened to be very close to our hotel. Biltmore being one of the largest residences in the United States, it is, it's a drop-dead gorgeous property. Unfortunately, we weren't able to actually get into, see the actual house itself, but we were able to drive all around the property. Hopefully you enjoyed this journey along with us to Western North Carolina. We absolutely enjoyed ourselves out here. So please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you have any suggestions for us for things that you want us to do in the future. We are open to pretty much anything. As long as it's legal and we're not breaking any kind of rules like that, we're down to it. Especially if it's an educational situation where we can learn things as well as you can learn things. So until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Joshua. And we are Discovery Duo. Keep things positive. We'll see you on our next Discovery Adventure. Peace! Peace. What does this sound like to you? <laughs>